Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This video is inspired by my pal who recently asked a group of us what our favourite skincare products were and I was like <coughs> this and this and this and this and this and it made me think of the products that I've used so many times over the years that I repurchase. Over the last seven years I have tried out a lot of products. Brands would send me things to try out and I do my absolute best to give them a fair proper trial. So usually I will try out something for a month at a time before reporting back to see if it's any good or not. With, with cleanser, so I feel like you can tell from the first like use or two if it's gonna be for you or not. I realized that I'm probably gonna forget crucial products, um, but these are the ones that I have in my collection right now that I just think are fantastic. Enough waffle, let's get stuck in. I wanna, actually, let me start off with, and somebody asks me, what's your favorite Nooks product? It's this. This is the Nooks Rev de Miel Ultra Comforting Face Balm. The smell. The smell is incredible and it makes it feel like it's a treat for your skin. So this is a moisturizer and you can see that it's really, really thick. It's labeled as being for dry and sensitive skin, but as I said, my oily T-zone, my normal cheeks just love this so much. I think this is either my third or my fourth pot. And initially when it was sent to me, I was like, no, that's gonna be too heavy for my skin type. But I start using it at night and after the first use, I was like, hooked, I'm hooked. Um, it's like a cocoon for your skin like a little hug for your face. And I love using this at night as my nighttime moisturizer. And um, whenever I use it, it, the smell just, oh, it's just so soothing and comforting. And then I wake up the next morning and my skin is soft, juicy, bright, plump. It does a brilliant job at locking in whatever serum that you're using. And as I said, the scent just makes it a bit more of a treat. I know that like scents aren't like the be all and end all when it comes to products, but I just think it makes the experience more enjoyable. I will never be with that. I'll probably never be without any of these, but I will never be without this. So I like using this on its own over my serums. But then if I feel like my skin needs an extra boost, this is the Yonkit Nutri Boost. Yeah, probably like my third or fourth bottle of this. It's only tiny, but you only need like a pump or two. The pump usually does me. There are four booster serums altogether, but this is my favorite one. I have tried the Hydro one, but there's just something magical about this one. I, again, I think it's the scent. This two together. Beautiful. And the idea behind this is that you add a pump into like your moisturizer, your favorite serum, your face mask, and it helps amplify the properties of that product. So it's a great addition to a skincare routine, especially in the winter time. So if your skin needs like a little something, something, if it needs radiance, if it needs boosting, so good. And it just smells like a spa. Oh. Next up on the list is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. So this is a rice-based powder. I'm gonna show you the texture. To put up the sleeves, it's gonna go everywhere. I don't want to waste it. But that's what it looks like. You can use this a few different ways. So you can add like a good bit of water into that to make like a really kind of loose paste and you'll feel the grit in it. Now, as I said, it's a rice-based exfoliant, but it's really gentle on the skin as well, but so effective. What I like to do with it as well is, oh my God, so awkward. Oh wait, there. <laughs> is add it into whatever cleanser that I'm using. I love using this at morning and evening, it's fine, but I wouldn't use it morning and evening. <laughs> this makes your skin so smooth, like baby soft smooth, but without leaving it feeling dry or tight or irritated or sore. And as somebody now with like that little bit more sensitive skin, um, having an exfoliator like this is just fantastic. It is gentle enough to be used every day, but I don't I don't feel like I need it. Um, Cause there's sometimes I'll feel congested like around my nose or my forehead or my chin. And I just go to town with it and it's fab. Now, hold on. I only learned this the other day from my pal Jen, is that this part comes off. Now, it's only me using this, that's fine. Because they sent me this, a refill. That's deadly, isn't it? it uses 92% less plastic. So whenever I finish this, I'm gonna add this into there and that will keep me going for like another year, year and a half. How long do I have to use it? 24 months, loads of time. If your skin has any dry, flaky patches, this is so worth checking out and adding into your skincare routine. As I said, you can add as much or as little as you want, depending on the level of exfoliation that you need. I've spoken about the next product so many times on here and on Instagram, and I'm sure people are like, would you just shut up? And I'd be like, no, no, you need to give this a go if you're looking for a hyaluronic acid. So this is the Pestle and Mortar Pure Hyaluronic Serum. And this is the best hyaluronic serum that I've ever tried so far. I have tried a lot over the years. What I like about this serum is that it has different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. So the smaller molecules go deeper into the skin and plump and hydrate it from beneath. And then the larger ones sit on top of the skin and plump and hydrate from the top. I've done a video on this that I'll link below explaining how to maximize the benefits of this, especially in the autumn and the winter and spring in the colder months, because you might find that your skin might be feeling a little bit dry after you use this, but there is a knack to this, 
go much it. I'm not going to waffle here because I've been here for ages. But I have put my skin through the ringer over the years. And I'll probably continue to do that. Let's be honest. A product that I have to have at all times in my skincare collection is the La Roche-Posay Tellurian Ultra Cream. Anytime my skin gets irritated or if I have any kind of reaction, I strip my skincare routine completely back and just use this because it's so soothing, it's non-scented and it's made for irritated skin. So if you find that your skin is a little bit sensitive or sensitized, having this would just be a must have, I think. It instantly soothes my skin and just kind of takes that discomfort out of it like immediately and I will use this morning and evening until my skin settles and then I just go back to like tormenting my skin. <laughs> anyway this is brilliant for sensitive skin, reactive skin, skin like mine. Next up we have the number seven advanced retinol 1.5% complex. Did I get that right? Yeah there's a lot of words and that's not even them all. Anyway this launched I want to say last year. For full disclosure, I worked with Boots on the launch of this, but I'm not paid at all. I've just continued to use this. Because so, what'll happen is I'll be using this and then I'll go on to like another kind of retinol type serum, but I will always come back to this one. I have a blog post on this that I will link below with all of the details in it because I could be here for it. Like this could have its own video. If you're somebody who has sensitive skin, but you do want to get in to start using retinol, you might think, oh, my skin might be a bit sensitive. I don't know if I'll be able for this. It should be okay with this. So this contains 0.3% retinol, which is the optimal percentage of retinol for sensitive skin and it also has a retinol soother and that's going to take down any potential redness that you might have from the retinol. It has Matrixyl 3000 as well so that's going to help with anti-aging too and this releases the retinol slowly over the night as well. I just think this is fantastic at helping to reduce fine lines, at helping to increase cell turnover to give you brighter, fresher, more youthful looking skin. Yes, this is a great starter for retinol or if you have stopped using retinol and then you go back to use retinol to start from scratch because with retinol you do have to build up your tolerance for your skin so yeah, great. Next up we have the NUX Super Serum. I'm on my second bottle of this because I think it is gorgeous. Love it so much. So NUX launched this anti-aging serum back in March of this year? Was it this year? I think it was this year. Feels like it was ages ago. Yes I haven't aged today. Can you see the texture of this? It has these tiny little microspheres that has the fractionated botanical oils and as you start to work it into your skin those little spheres burst onto the skin and release the oils. So along with the botanical oils it has hyaluronic acid in there too which is going to help plump and hydrate the skin and then it also has niacinamide which is going to help brighten the skin. So we're talking anti-aging, hydration, brightening, where would you be going? What I really like about this serum is that it can be used by all skin types and by all ages as well. So you can start using it, you know, in your 20s as a preventative measure and you can continue on using it for the rest of your life. <laughs> the next product has saved my skin so many times. God, I'm talking, this is like proper skin savers though, isn't it as well? It's like a mix of like regular skincare products and then also when I have like tormented my skin. <laughs> it's helped. Um, a product that I will never be without is the Yonka Hydra Number no. 1 Mask. Can you see it there? Is it washed out? The front says intense hydration and repairing and that's exactly what this does. I reach for this usually when I've done something bold on my skin. Like in the autumn and the winter and in the spring, sometimes, all the time, I might have a shower and then wash my face in the shower when the water is really hot. Should, don't do it. Try to remember to turn the temperature down but that doesn't always happen. Will I learn my lesson? No I won't because I have this. <laughs> Hydra number one mask for me is perfect for autumn, winter, spring, sometimes summer as well. But in those colder months where you're outside like a little bit more and it's cold and your skin feels dry or tight and then when you're inside you have the central heating on which helps dry out your skin. Like your skin just doesn't get a break, does it? <laughs> and this can be used a couple of different ways. So you can apply this as a thick layer as a mask and it gives instant and long lasting hydration as well. You let your skin absorb and then you can tissue off the rest of it. But I never do, I just like bring it into my elbows, my hands, my cuticles, whatever. Or you can apply this as a nighttime moisturizer. So you would just add a thinner layer onto your skin, let it absorb and then go to sleep. Skin, so it's like a proper treatment for your skin where it needs like that little bit more TLC. Next up we have the Image Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. But I've been using this for years and as you can tell, it is a hydrating serum and it is an anti-aging serum too. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which we know helps lock in hydration and has vitamin C too, which is a powerful antioxidant. It helps give bright, glowy skin and helps protect your skin as well. So after the summer, if you feel like you might have maybe age spots or little sun spots, having a serum like this in your collection is great for helping to even out that skin tone, giving you the brightness, the glowage, 
sorted. It smells really, really nice. And I think this is, I know the Vital C is their original and best selling range that Image has ever brought out. Um, I, actually, this won awards this year. I do remember that. But I do love a serum. I love it so much. And um, there are actually a few serums from Image that I really enjoy using. But this is the one that I kind of tend to go back to time and time again. I will leave a blog post link below of the serums that I enjoy. Yeah, because I did, I did one. Um, a while back. We have the L'Occitane Immortelle Divine Cream. If I was a pot of product, I would be this. It's chunky. It loves yellow. <laughs> this just, oh, the, the smell of this is incredible. I think the older I'm getting, the more I'm into anti-aging skincare products. Do you know what? My skin's looking pretty good because of it. This contains ingredient, the Immortelle Super Extra. Actually, sorry, full disclosure, I worked with them on the launch of this, but I've continued to use this myself. No obligation to talk about this. Um, but this has, yes, the Immortelle Super Extract, which is a natural alternative to retinol. So if you are thinking about using retinol, you want to use a proper retinol, you can try this. But if you want to have a more natural approach to retinol, then this is the product for you. You can see it's really, really thick, but it blends into the skin beautifully. And it has like a gorgeous kind of rich texture that again just feels like a hug for your skin this makes my skin feel plump juicy hydrated and look more radiant glowy we're talking tackling fine lines and wrinkles this is the full shebang i just i really like the fact that this is nice and rich so it makes for a lovely nighttime moisturizer just like add like a little bit more to like lock in the serums or apply a little bit less um during the day i know i've forgotten some 100% have forgotten some, but listen, that's okay. I could do another video. Have you tried any of these? What do you think? Is there anything that I need to try and add to my list? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your support is always so appreciated and amazing. Um, I'm loving making YouTube videos again regularly. Thanks, Will, for watching. Okay, bye.